Hi, my name is Adam Clark. I'll be guiding you through the quick start patches for the 208C and easel command. These patches are designed to help you quickly get up and running on the instrument. This video is also a companion to the printed quick start guide. If you don't have the quick start guide or would like a digital copy for reference, you can get it from the downloads page at bukla.com. Before we get into it, make sure you have an audio cable from the instrument connected to some means to hear it. So from the master outputs on the top or the back if you have an easel command, or use the headphone jack. I also have a MIDI cable connected to the easel command from a keyboard MIDI controller, though that's not necessary for these patches. We'll now begin quick start patch A. Step one, set all the knobs, switches, and sliders to these settings. Use the printed or downloaded quick start guide as reference. Black banana jacks are inputs and are either labeled or have arrows pointing to the parameter they control. The other colors are outputs. On the bottom control voltage or CV section, Blue are the sequential voltage outs, orange are for the envelope generator, yellow are for the pulser, white for random voltages, the violet are a mix of whatever CV is plugged into the pressure CV keyboard input and the channel pressure or controller number from MIDI input. On the top, the green is related to the modulation oscillator, but these blue jacks are not for sequential voltages but are labeled in regards to what they produce. If the pulser is not running, make sure the pulser switch is not in the off position and press the one button to start it. Connect the orange envelope generator CV output jack to the dual low pass gate level 1 CV input jack using a shorting bar. The dual low pass gate level 1, which relates to the complex oscillator, is now being controlled by the envelope generator, so we're hearing its effect. Now connect the yellow pulsar output jack to the level 2 CV input jack using a shorting bar. If the gate 2 source switch is in the middle position, level 2 gates the modulation oscillator and is being controlled now by the pulsar. This is a great starting place for creating patches as most CV connections will produce audible results. Step 2. Connect the white random voltage output jack to the complex oscillator wave shape CV input jack using a banana cable. Set the wave shape knob position to the sine wave icon. We're now using a random voltage to affect the wave shape of the complex oscillator and it controls a virtual turn of the wave shape knob. For this patch though, I prefer to have the wave shape knob up halfway. Move the level 1 slider to 4. Having the level 1 slider up in extent allows the complex oscillator to be heard even when not being affected by the envelope generator. Step 3. Connect the white random voltage output jack to the complex oscillator timbre CV input jack using a shorting bar. The timbre now changes with the random voltages. Step 4. Use a banana cable to connect a blue sequential voltage output jack to the modulation oscillator frequency input jack. The positions of the sequential voltage levels sliders now affect the frequency of the modulation oscillator. Step 5. Use a banana cable to connect the white random voltage output jack to the modulation oscillator modulation CV input jack. Move the modulation CV slider up to its maximum position. Make sure the modulation switch is set in AM mode. Now the modulation oscillator is modulating the complex oscillator by a random voltage. By moving the modulation CV slider up to the top, we've increased the influence of the control voltage modulating the complex oscillator. Step 6. Use a tiny jacks cable to connect the complex oscillator jack to the modulation oscillator FMN jack. The audio signal from the complex oscillator now frequency modulates the modulation oscillator. Turn the modulation oscillator FM in knob up to its maximum position. By turning the FM in knob up to its maximum position, we've increased the influence of the signal modulating the modulation oscillator. Step 7. Connect the white random voltage output jack to the envelope generator sustain CV input jack. Move the sustain slider to 1. The envelope generator sustain is now influenced by a random voltage. Moving the sustain slider to 1 shifts the influence of the control voltage to a more useful range of sustain times for this particular patch. I'll play some notes on the MIDI controller and adjust the mod wheel which affects the complex oscillator timbre. Congratulations, you've completed Quick Start Patch A. We'll now begin Quick Start Patch B. Step 1. Set all the knobs, switches, and sliders to the default Quick Start settings from Patch A. Connect the orange envelope generator CV output jack 
the dual low pass gate level 1 CV input jack using a shorting bar. Step 2. Use a shorting bar to connect a blue sequential voltage output jack to the complex oscillator pitch CV input jack. Lower the complex oscillator pitch CV input slider to 2. We're now using the sequential voltage levels sliders to control the pitch of the complex oscillator. By lowering the pitch CV input slider, we lessen its influence. Step 3. Set the sequential voltage stages to 4. Adjust the sequential voltage level sliders to something like this. Step 4. Set the modulation oscillator range switch to low and its wave shape switch to triangle. Connect the mod out jack to the complex oscillator timbre CV input jack using a banana cable. Set the complex oscillator wave shape switch to the spike wave, which is the top position. Now the modulation oscillator controls the timbre of the complex oscillator as an LFO, or low frequency oscillator. Step 5. Set the dual low pass gate level 1 slider to 3. Use a banana cable to connect the mod out jack to the complex oscillator wave shape CV input jack. Set the wave shape knob position to the sine wave icon. Having the level 1 slider up in extent allows the complex oscillator to be heard even when not being affected by the envelope generator. The modulation oscillator now controls the wave shape mix with the mod out CV, controlling a full virtual turn of the wave shape knob. Step 6. Set the dual low pass gate 2 source switch to the top position. When the gate 2 switch is set to the top position, if nothing is plugged into the aux in jack above, noise is produced. Use a banana cable to connect the envelope generator CV out jack to the gate 2 CV input jack. The envelope generator is now affecting the noise. Step 7. Use a shorting bar to connect the white random voltage output jack to the envelope generator sustain CV input jack. Move the sustain slider to about 1. Use a banana cable to connect the blue sequential voltage output jack to the envelope generator decay CV input jack. Move the decay slider to about 1. The sequential voltage levels sliders now influence the envelope generator decay, and the sustain is affected by a random voltage to create variations in the envelope. Congratulations, you've completed Quick Start Patch B. Thanks for watching. I hope these patches are helpful in your understanding of the easel command in 208C. Follow Bukla on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and visit Bukla.com for new patches, videos, news, and all things Bukla.